well, my name's Jimmy Weldon, and you're saying, who cares? I'm going to really shock you. You grew up with me and know who I am. 53 years ago, I did the voice of Yaki Doodle in the Yogi Bear Show. If you remember, there's a little duck named Yaki Doodle, and his best friend is Chopper, a great big bulldog. Fibber Fox is chasing him down the road. You hear him hollering, Help! Chopper! Chopper's lost me. He says, Run, little fella! Gets in front of him, and then he says, Yaki, now that you're safe, tell me, where's your mama? And he always looked up sad and said, I don't have no mama. Would you be my mama? Hard to realize, but that was me. I was in Patton's Third Army Combat Engineers, attached to the group at Liberated Booking Wall Concentration Camp. It's a long time ago. I told this to a little group of middle school children in Burbank, where I live. And a little boy in the back of the room said, ah, that never happened. And I just screamed out, don't say that. I was there. Later, I talked to one of the largest service clubs in Long Beach. A little man came out of the audience with a yarmulke on the back of his head. He said, Jimmy, I'm Rabbi Kane. I was at Booking Wall Concentration Camp. We stood there hugging, crying in the middle of the room. My passion today is talking to young people about America because they don't teach the things I talk about in school today. Uh, but that's enough of that. Let me tell you about what I'm so thrilled about. I have a special program that was used on the USS Kennedy in the Persian Gulf during the Iraq War for 4,500 sailors. I was so surprised and thankful. I cried when they told me they were using it every day before they started the Pledge of Allegiance. This is what I use when I'm talking to young people. I am the flag of the United States of America, conceived in the dreams of liberty and the hopes of freedom. I was designed by the hands of Betsy Ross, and her sewing basket was my cradle. Though I was never an orphan, I was adopted by the Continental Congress in 1777 and proclaimed the national emblem of a nation newly born on this continent, fighting valiantly for survival and destined to bring to all mankind a new concept in life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I rode with Ethan Allen and the Green Mountain Boys at the Battle of Fort Bennington. I was flown above the decks of old Ironsides and the mass of Yankee clippers. <laughs> I blazed the trail with Daniel Boone and Davy Crockett. I led the settlers coming west and crossed Death Valley in a covered wagon. Once I fell to the ground at Custer's last stand to Little Bighorn, there were no living hands left to pick me up. But I galloped up the slopes of San Juan Hill with Colonel Teddy Roosevelt and his Rough Riders in the United States Cavalry. I was carried through the halls of Montezuma onto the shores of Tripoli by the United States Marine Corps. I stayed with the boys till it was over over there. On the battlefields of the Marne, Chateau Thierry, Saint Mihiel in the Argonne Forest, I saw many of the youth and manhood of our nation fall and lie still in death. They had given their last full measure of blood. The war was over for them forever, but I kept my lonely vigil over their graves and stayed to watch the poppies grow amid the crosses row on row in Flanders Field. I was raised by six brave Marines and sailors during the hell of Iwo Jima in the final hours of World War II. I haven't changed much in 240 years. I still have my original 13 stripes, but as each state came in the Union, a new star was proudly added to the constellation of my blue field. Start with 13, now there are 50. I've draped the caskets of our nation's heroes and borne to their last resting place the bodies of presidents, generals, admirals, humble privates, and the unknown soldier. Wherever free men gather, wherever there's justice, equality, faith, hope, charity, truth, and brotherly love, there too am I. When you stand with your hand over your heart and recite the Pledge of Allegiance to me, don't merely mouth the words, but think of what they mean to you and mean what you say. And when you come to the phrase, one nation under God, 
Remember, it matters not what your religious belief. It only matters that you hold your faith dear, that you practice it daily, and you preserve it forever. History will never write my obituary, for I am the stars and stripes forever. I'm old glory. I'm your flag. I am you.